Thank you. So, uh, Bishop has given me 30 minutes. I think uh, I haven't started using man of God. I'm starting to use my 30 minutes. Uh, today, we all know that uh, we are laying hands on uh, pastors who are being ordained together with the other ministers of the gospel in the house. So, I know you have gone through a mentorship class through the man of God. And there are many things that you have learned in regards to the ministry and what you ought to do and what you ought not to do. Because in the ministry, we have do's and don'ts, all right? But uh, I will not repeat what he said because I wasn't there when he was saying and he has not shared with me the notes. But I think the things I will share, maybe they might sound the same of what he shared because the word of God is the same. Praise the Lord. So I want to talk about spiritual requirements for ministry. You know, in everything, there is always a requirement. When you find something that has got no requirement, it is fake. Praise the Lord. You find something without a requirement, without do's and don'ts, it is fake. So in ministry, there are requirements that you ought to understand. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Many people have entered into ministry without knowing the requirements and they give up so easily because ministry is not something physical it is more of spirituality and you are a physical person so you surrender your life to the holy spirit that he may use you praise the lord so requirement number one requirement number one very fast you have to be born again it's simple it looks like uh, it doesn't make any sense but that is the genesis. That is the foundation. You have to be born again. You have to give your life to Jesus Christ. You have to be forgiven of your sins. You have to confess that is Lord. You have to be baptized into many waters. Hallelujah. And then you have to be filled by the Holy Spirit. That's a package of you being born again. Because I've seen many people who say, uh, with me, I saw an angel in my dream who appeared to me and he said, my son, my son, arise. It's a season for you to be used of God. Then I entered the church without confession, without repentance, without water baptism. Can you imagine Apostle Paul, one of the greatest apostles, when he had encountered Christ on his way to Damascus? He became blind. He had to go to a priest, a man of God called Ananias, who laid his hands on him and his eyes were open. And he baptized him. And he told him, brother Saul, receive the Holy Spirit. And he received the Holy Spirit. Sasa hii mamba ya unalala usi kuna wata umefuniko na kitamba ya white. Na unasikia sauti ambao ni kama mwanadamu ni kama sema mwanadamu. Ya kama mwanangu inuka sasa hindo tumikie mungu. That is not permissible biblically. You have to be born again. Ask your neighbor, are you born again? Because when we lay hands on you and you're not born again, I think it will not be fair to your life. The kind of battles that will come, you will not have a shield. You will not have the grace to protect you and to carry you in the battle. Because ministry is about battles. Ministry in Evita is about battles. It's not eating and drinking. Sausage, mayai, choma, no. You will lose some weight for a while. Then you will gain it some other time. When I met my friend here, I think I was bigger than where I am. Oh, no, 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 no. I was very, uh, you know. Sasa yu nakuanga lazima. Lazima kita kuramba kiasi tu si sana. Maybe for one year or ten years or fifteen years. Mimi kilin ramba for eighteen years. One day I asked my son, who is doing his fourth form. I asked him, my son, will you become a pastor? He looked at me and he said, I will answer you tomorrow. So, uh, the following day, I asked him, Uli, So, I asked the mother, Jamali said, Maji, Akasema, Ile poverty ilipiga uyu mtu. Sezi jaribu tena. Kwa vitu sambuli hiyo. So, you have to be born again. Romans chapter 8, line number 15, I pray that uh, the guy on the teleprompter will be very fast, because we're going to read some scriptures. Romans chapter 8, line number 15, the Bible says, The spirit you received does not make you slaves. 
so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. So when you get born again, you automatically become a son or a daughter to our Heavenly Father. So you become part of the family, the heavenly family. Huh? So you don't have the spirit to fear again. Why? Because before you gave your life to Christ, you belonged somewhere. You came from a certain family. They had their rituals, their traditions, their altars. So you have to come from those things and then enter in the family of Christianity, the family of God. And it, it's a process, okay? Salvation is a process. I don't expect you to be born again today and then unacha pombe leo, unacha cigara leo, unacha mikato mikato leo. No, nika safari kidogo. Alright? Nika safari tu kidogo ambako utaenda alafu mungu anakusaidia. So number one, you have to be born again. Now when you are born again, there are two things that will happen. When you are filled by the Holy Spirit. Number one, you will receive the fruits of the Holy Spirit. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, kindness, gentleness, self-control. They, they happen automatically. Now, when these fruits begin to manifest, that is when people begin to say, so and so is born again. We knew him as an angry man, an angry woman, but today that soul is full of joy. So the fruits will bring the manifestation of Christianity. And then will be given the gifts, the gifts, Leo ni mentorship na tunaombea watu the gifts you can lay hands on the sick they receive their healing but you are not yet called in the ministry you can babble in tongues for 30 hours with the 2 seconds but you are not yet called in the ministry you can lay your hands on someone who has got cancer don't start a ministry called cancer free international ministry you are not yet called in the ministry these things are basic for any born again believer. You can command a demon and then it goes out. For information, the ministry of casting out of demons, it is for all believers, not for, not for few people, for all believers. But what all, the difference between you who is casting out the demon and your bishop is about the mantle. There are some demons that will ask you some few questions, two questions. Who are you? Where do you come from? Where do you live? Can we visit you? You know? <laughs> so you, you have to, to, to make sure you have got these two the fruits and the gifts so if you have been battling anger for the past three years Nigeria, please ask the Holy Spirit to give you the gift of joy love and self control self control Self-control will control you what to hear, what to talk, what to do, where to go, where not to go. Self-control. Mm -hmm. So you have to be born again. And these two things will happen. You'll have the fruits and the gifts. I've seen in churches whereby, uh, Dada Flani, I'm a good, and listen, anytime you come to the atmosphere whereby people are praying, interceding, prophesying, there will be an impartation. But it's not the, the impartation for ministry. When Saul went to visit Prophet Samuel on the mountain, Samuel told him, when you leave me, you will meet a company of prophets. So, by, by, the, by the force of interaction, you will find out that what they are doing, you are also doing. It is not a wonder what your bishop is doing, two, three people here can do. Now, that should not entitle them at a mimi. No, no, no. 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 Please. Alright? So, you have to be born again. So, when you meet a, maybe a group, a gathering, unakuja pa unaomba, unapiga prayer, utanza kupata pe unanza, unanza kuna ma revelation. Eh? I saw a revelation man of God. There was a giant that came in the church. Kuna ngurezi li kuja kwa church. Kuna mtu alai nambia, eh, when I was praying, Niliona umesima kwa madhabau na longi yako ikaanguka. Nikawe mbonu kunifalisha. Sa hiyo hiyo. You could go back to that dream. Unifalisha hiyo longi. So, so, sasa, hapo inakuanga ni, 
ni, ni, ni, ni kale ka, ka growing process ni kale ka toddler spiritual toddler amaanza kuonesha tu vision kidogo hapa eh hata tukianza kuomba naweza ona hata angels wamepita wamekuja wamepita hivi please hiyo isikufanye sasa useme sasa hey, the things i see in that church even my bishop cannot see na nimenyenyekea tu mimi tu mimi hata stack watu wanijue pale so you begin to create a ka your own whatsapp group in the church of uh, kwanza una ka name angels visitation whatsapp group <laughs> unaanza ka fellowship kwa nyumba all right kako ni ka kanakuwa ka wednesday na ye hajui ye hajui that is the genesis of rebellion in the church and rebellion with witchcraft their twin sisters you can't separate them so sa hiyo ni process to whereby god is trying to show you i have an interest with you but you're not yet there praise the lord so once you began to encounter those things number two requirement is about mentorship you need to find a spiritual father who is your father listen i know of many people who go to church but even they don't know their pastor ata namba ya simu aona they just see him preaching here and that's all you will never grow find time with your father first corinthians chapter 4 and line number 15 the bible says even if you have 10000 guardians in christ you do not have many fathers for in christ jesus i became your father through the gospel so to me answer when you give your life to christ god the father becomes your spiritual father but now he becomes also your spiritual father in the physical form So your father has to mentor you. He will mentor you. He will groom you. He will rebuke you, he will correct you, he will love you. Hata kutoa pampas ya kiroho. Mm. Diapers hata kutoa. Mm. Na hiyo process watu wengi wao wanahepa. Hapo ndio watu wanasema watu wanadhani kusema the past is against me, is too hard on me, blah blah, is not that loving vitu kama zile okay i also took my time to mentor my wife and i mentored her rough because it was during our poverty so ningempeleka rough paka nuliza mbona ndio natumini awe ngine wafanye hivi mbona nikamwambia it's because of the grace that you carry for information if your spiritual father becomes hard on you thank god there is something you see do you know the way he rebukes her is not the same way he can rebuke him because he has discernment he can tell if i rebuke him the way i rebuke her he'll run away and fathers protect their children at avoid what as to so before he grows to be like her it can take him 10 years so the faster you receive rebuke and correction the better for you ukiambia simama ona simama ka ka hii mambo kumeita victor victor wacha kuanzia leo he is not your age mate either is he your grace mate mm you don't share the same grace and that is what god planned if he wants to raise men he has to raise men through men so you have to be mentored by your spiritual father you can have many advisors on youtube eh many advisors on facebook wherever nigerians joshua selman said every time you mention that to your father you need a slap joshua selman said joshua selman said no you tell me what your father said Joshua Selman is only your advisor. He can't lay hands on you. He's very far. People have <laughs> they have imported Nigerian pastors in their own houses. Haweki YouTube ya baba yake akiroa askia Sunday with someone ilikuwa inasema nini? Yeah, make a Joshua Selman. Listen, for that person to grow, it will take many years. Many years. And every time you you hear Joshua Selman, you want to pick something from there that will challenge your father. You know even Joshua Selman said this. I read a book by Catherine Coleman and she said this. Huh? That that even he was, was here he said this is not bad for you to mention those people but please become an encouragement to your father. Tell him you said this. Hiyo ya Joseph Selman na Catherine Coleman unafinyia kwa roho. The only man in this life that you have as your spiritual father it is Victor. Tumpigie makofi mazuri. We have got examples here like Elisha followed Elijah for 10 years. 2 Kings chapter 3 11. 
The Bible says, and Elijah washed the hands of Elijah for ten good years. One member speaker for two years. Sasa ume inua levo. Kutai kubeba speaker tena. Uya liosha mikono Elijah for how many years? Ten good years. The timing for your departure, it is not in the hands of your spiritual father. It's in the hands of God the Father. And he will affirm it to him. Huyo mtu amefika sasa atumwe ama fanyo hivi na hivi na hivi. And I want to thank God for the daughters and the sons of this house. I have known some of them for almost five years, six years. But they were Natosha kwa kelewa mikono. Watawazwe kukua pastor. Na kwanzele yu atakuwa nambia pepo toka. Inasema, hey, tunenda. But please, don't quit the church and then say, now, sir, hata bini metosha. No, wait. All right? Another example that we have here is an example of Paul, which I've mentioned. Liokoka na kakua chini ananayas for some time. Sijuni miaka nangapi alikuwa pale. Mambo sambliyo, mambo sambliyo. Now, during mentorship, the following things should be observed. The following things should be observed. For the security of your soul and the security of a spiritual father. Because sometimes you can mentor someone and this person has got a different doctrine. The thing that we do as we mentor people, we check, number one, on the doctrine that is in your heart. Doctrine. Or the, the faith that you have and the belief. Kuna watu ambao before kuja hapa, kuna dini walitoka. Iyo dini likuwa na different beliefs na different doctrines. So now you are here. So don't, don't bring that doctrine here. No. Now it is now the doctrine that we are learning from Victor Salamba. Akisema tunabatizo sa kumi na moja ndakambili kwa maji mingi. Unatafuta ngo ya white. Unaingia kwa yomaji. Because now we have decided he is our father and he is the one who is doing what? Mentoring us. So we observe what? Doctrine. Ephesians chapter 4, line number 9, very fast. Ephesians chapter 4, line number 9. Tonangalia sana doctrine. Ah. There are funny doctrines outside there. That when a woman is going through monthly period, she should stay in the house until when she is cleansed. Who made her unholy? That is a mindset. That is not right. Umaye ona daktari ameka nyumbani agenda kutimba naka kwa monthly period? Dada zangu? Kuna kitu kama hiyo. You need to come to church. Uh, there are some funny doctrines. People are being taught outside there. That as a preacher as, or as a minister, you don't sleep with your wife when you're coming to preach on Sunday. Nando utakoti chonjo, 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 chonjo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Unakuwa chonjo, chonjo. Kidogo tu hapa. Sili kama niyo. Not efficient, please. Give me Philippians 4, line number 9. Yeah, Philippians 4, sorry. Philippians 4, line number 9. Doctrine. Doctrine. Because there is a time whereby the man of God will give you a Bible study. You, you teach people during Bible study. Will he trust with those souls because of the doctrine that will teach them? Very important. As kuja apata ume impart doctrine ingine kwa watu ati church in a far over to Evie. No, no. Huh? Mama wana fathi tamba wote za blue wama yellow. Huh? Let's read. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, in him, do and the God of peace shall be with you. So you have to find a way of learning the doctrine that he believes in. Then go and spread that doctrine to other people. Us import doctrines in Guinea Hapo. And then number two, during mentorship, the following is observed. Faith in God for information. Your mentor can mentor you how to put on. 
can mentor you how to preach. I've seen so many to dejects. So many to dejects. But they don't match or match that grace. Can I talk somebody? <laughs> but who you move to water? See, to dejects. The best mentorship is the impartation of faith. Impartation of faith. You have to study the faith of this man. And I told you I'm a beneficiary of his faith. This man. And I always say in the church, by the way, this man is here. I always say, I met a man in my life who transformed my faith completely. This man. You cannot find me there. You can't. You can't. Where is he? Eh. Hey. Tuka pigana ema bona gari 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 gari. Kwambie bibi wewe bana bishop. Hii gari ni unaniambia ni nui gari. Nita maintain haja kanambia sikia. Faith ya kupata ndio ngumu. Ku maintain ni rais. Mpaka leo nilishika hiyo kitu. Faith ya kupata ndio ngumu. Ku maintain ni rais. Even my kids when they went to school. Ni hata paka niambia piga hii namba, piga hii namba. Wewe zipeleka watoto kwa shule ambazo wanakaa watoto 600 kwa darasa moja. 600 children. Aka kamekohoa, kamefanya hivyo, kamefanya hivyo. Kako pia pia kako pale ndani. Kanambia waache hiyo maneno wewe. Kwenda tu huko kuambiwa school fees, kuambiwa school fees. Nikasema Victor wants to kill me. Victor wants to kill me. This man hana mpango mzuri. And my wife said yes. And that the matter was, I went there with the children. Nikasema daddy ni hapa. Lazima upate watu ambao watakutoa imani za za kushindwa. Faith in God. This is a man of faith. I know. And listen, walipoinga hizo shule. Nilikuwa nimes wakati wa COVID. You know during COVID time I had money. I don't know why. When people never had money, me I had money. So it is save save do. So it is only to me ku lipa. Hasa next kuja na toko wapi? Before toke kwa hiyo shule. Nilikuwa nimepata school fees yote mpaka leo hii. Mimi ulipa before. But then I look for a sadaka ndete ya shukrani. Tandete. Second Timothy 1:5 very fast. By the way, na kuboa ama. Tuko sawa? Kabisa. Wewe atsema tu kabisa ile moto itakushukia utashangale. Second Timothy 1:5 nipatia haraka haraka. <laughs> Lazima tuangalie pia faith. Do you know if you have got a spiritual father man a panic panic and a panic panic. Hauna assurance mzee. Hauna kama ana panic panic juu ya unajua sasa nafaa tulipe parent sijui tutafanyaje. This man does not panic. He doesn't. He doesn't. He will say, with this one, we will pay. Not hakuna pesa, but we will pay. And God provides the money. You need such a general of faith. Yes. You need such a father. This man has, me I know, this man has faith. I know. Iyo naya konayo. Gift of faith. Ebu? When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also, that faith is there. Uyu ni Paul anambia Timothy. Because Paul alikuwa pastor nyanya yake, akawa pastor ya mama yake, na akawa pastor yake. Anamambia nini? Ile faith ni limpati kwa chosho yako. Ndiyo hii naona dani yako. Can this man of God testify? Ya kwamba kwa vitu zote, you can talk like me, you can preach like me, you can sing like me, but I see a replica of faith. The faith I have is in you. And listen, if he can raise faith like people in this church, like him, haimenda, imenda. Mapema saa mbili na dakika mbili hii ishaenda. Hii ishaenda. Si watu wa waswas 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 and this vitu zake ni kubwa kubwa kubwa. Nyumba kubwa okay. Mimi nimefika kwake wewe acha. Nyumba kubwa gari kubwa vitu zote ni kubwa. He does not go for the and then vitu dogo dogo he doesn't. That is the man you need to follow because of the faith he has in his God. Number three, the things we must be keen on, we must observe during mentorship, it is holiness and purity. Romans chapter 6, line number 1. Your father, I know he has mentored you about holiness and purity. Which, if you lack it, you will fail in ministry. Utenda kuombea mama kwa nyumbazano, utawabariki vizuri. Utawabariki vizuri. Ndugu moja kawa na muita dotodo. Muita otu ya dotodo. Akaenda kapata mwanadada na pepo. Amejifunga leso. 
alimpata na wea. Hakumpigia sima na kuja alimpata na wea. Hamefunga leso. Kumbe uko nani? Hakuna kitu. Ndugu akaanza kupiga worship, kupiga worship. Dada akaanguka china, leso ikaanguka. Alimaliza service, alimaliza ibada. Na kitambo harudi kwa kazi ya mungi, it was a problem. So we always watch over holiness and purity. So those who are being uh, ordained today, there is a battle you'll find of temptation. But this anointing will receive. It will help you to overcome those temptations. And listen, just because you are married, you will not be tempted. Yes. Kwanza wala ambawa mewa ndi wa shida tupo. Manaki hawa kwa na cover up. Hajulikani. Wa sherati kwa hii dunia. Ni watu wa mewa. Chana watu singu. Because wa kwa na cover up. Yo ni statistics ni mefanya. But si kwa hii church. Hata si kwa hii church yetu. Wako kwa inje. Hapa watu wa meamua yesu ni buwana. Hallelujah. Sini ukweli. Kweli ama si kweli. Namna hiyo. Aya number four. You must also be mentored in sacrifice and dedication. Second Timothy chapter 2. Okay. Let me go back idogo. Iyo 3. Zingine ndarukaruka because of time. Hata ni memaza masa yangu. Romans chapter 6 number 1. Iyo yiko kwa holiness and purity. So number 4 ni sacrifice and dedication. Second Timothy 2. Uh, Second Timothy chapter 2. Learn number 3 to learn number 4. Alright. Iyo ni sacrifice and dedication. You, 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 you cannot be prayed for to become a pastor or a service leader, and then you don't sacrifice for that calling. You have to sacrifice your time. Ufika mapema, mbele ya bishop. Ufungwe church. Upanguze wash. Sacrifice. Na umepak gari pale inje, ukenda kufisi yako nito boss. Hapa yu, hapa kunanga boss. Boss ni yesu. Hapa sisi water, we are servants. Wash a church, upanguze. Because when the anointing comes on you, there are things that anointing will check. Not him. That anointing. The Bible says, and the anointing that you first received will teach you all the truth. That's the Bible. So that anointing, which is the Holy Spirit, will watch things personally in you. Especially sacrifice and dedication. And number two, your love and your commitment to that work and to your pastor. Days are gone whereby you show your pastor how you love him, but behind the scene you talk so ill of him. The anointing is watching. The anointing is listening. Especially from him. So it needs commitment, sacrifice, and dedication. Service is shishi hapa na umeanza kuwa na meeting zako mahali. Unanza kubrowse ibada. Unanza venye flani alimba. Halifanya nini hiyo? Ni kama ata kuomba. So you become a spiritometer in the church. Then why are you called? Why are you anointed? You have been anointed to fix problems. If you see a mess, pray about it. Call those people. We'll get permission from him. I observed A, B, C, and D. If we do it this way and this way, it's a vizuri. We don't receive the anointing to criticize. We receive the anointing to build this work. To build this vision. That this vision can go far. We don't expect pastors about Tombe or Leo. I love each church back na watu venye hivi. We expect an overflow. Of course. We expect overflow. Who will do the overflow? It is you. Eh, ni wewe tu utaenda sasa huko nje utafute watu ulete. Si juu uta convince, but the anointing you received you received today will help you to convince them. I can, I've seen someone has loved. May God bless you. Number 5. The love of God and the people. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 line number 40 15. The love of God and the people. If you don't love God and you don't love people, ministry will become the hardest thing in your life. You must love people and you must love God. Don't love people because they have got money. Love people when they have got nothing. And when, and when they will have the money, they'll become a blessing. They'll become a blessing. I know your bishop Amejana Otto Nyata Wana Kitu through his prayers on Patavitu. Hallelujah. Love people. Okay? Alright, to talk about Rakaraka, number three, about Tafanya Leo, we always have what we call now impartation. Ukisha okoka, umepitia mentorship. Then, we come to a point of impartation. Impartation. I want to show you something here very funny about impartation. Impartation. What is to impart? Is to transfer. Today, the grace over this man will be transferred to you. 
His faith, his God, his love for people, mm -hmm. his favor will be transferred to you. His spirit will be transferred to you. Sasa wale ambao mnaekelewa mikono I know you are prepared how to receive the impartation. You don't receive impartation empty-handed, never. It cannot flow from him to you. It will never. No. I know you were sakani. No. Hai nyali hani, hai were sakani. Hai ifanye yandi yendang hivyo, hai kwangi hivyo. Sijai ona kitu kama hiyo mimi. I've never seen. To transfer what he carries to you. Let's share something here very, very, very funny. Let's see the life of Moses. Let's see how Moses, when he was now in Exodus, let's see how Moses and the Kwasa to Egypt and Apeleka Canaan. And what wingi. Now he wants leaders. He wants because today's Exodus. Now he needs leaders. He found Moses found himself with Jethro. Jethro can party advice. A million times advice. Better, heavy advice. Give me Exodus chapter number 18, line number 14 to 26. We want to talk about impartation. I'm finishing. This will be tough to Malize to meet a bishop. Exodus chapter number 18, line number 14 to 26. Can we read all, all, all of us? I read. Unajua nini mnasoma? And when Moses is father in the law, so all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why is it as thou that Uko kwetu na somanga hivyo. Lakini hapa, utasikia tu when Moses is father in law, so all that Kuna watu wata tuing hapa kidogo, eh? Oh, come on somebody, okay. When Moses' father in law saw all that, he did not defeat Paul. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, let's go. Mm hmm, you put here 15. Ongeza kasauti, wacha. Tuendele 2.16. Tuendele 2.16. Is not good to delay. Where are we? Both thou and these people, what is with thee? He is too heavy for thee. Though you are anointed, but it is too heavy. Thou art not able to perform it thyself. How can now unto my voice? I will give you this counsel and God shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to God, what? That thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk and the work they must do. Ayah. Ebo men, number one, such as fear God, number two, men of truth, number three, hating covetousness and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. Iyo ndi likuwa advice ya Jethro. Ya kwa mba tafuta, shikilia tu hapa my brother, ni sister ma brother, ni sikuwa ni naku, ni brother, sikuwa ni sikuwa. Moreover, thou shalt provide out all of the people of men such as fear God. Zikia. Qualification number one. They must do what? Fear God. They must do what? Fear God. They must do what? Fear God. Number two. There should be people who are able men. Meaning they should have some resources. Mm-hmm. tatu, tutu, sita in the case. Kuna ngombe ntakana, wanachinja kamushara, wanatoa. Such as fear God. Men of truth. Men of 
truth hating covetousness yani hawapendi uongo udhalimu hawapendi ukora hawapendi unyang'anyi hizo vitu hawapendi and blessed them Moses did exactly that now let us see if it worked I'm talking about impartation let's see if it worked let's go to numbers numbers chapter number 11 give me 14 to 17 let's see if this strategy worked and this is the strategy whereby it is used nowadays when you fear God, when you are able to do some few things here and there, when you don't, uh, when you, you love the truth, when you are a deacon, when you are a pastor, eh? when you are an evangelist, let's see if it happens. Let's read. I am not able to bear all these people alone. Now, the question is, where are those people that received the, Jethro and advice Moses? Where are those people? Where are they? Listen. <laughs> Impartation is much important because when this man will impart to you something, you will not help him to carry the burden. Uh -uh. You will carry the burden together. You will carry the burden together. But if there is no impartation, you will help him to carry. And by you helping, one day, one time, you'll be tired. Unapatanga mutu hameaza, mejitolea, hametuale uka 30, ka 40, ka 50, ka 70, ka 80, hamechemusha, ka 300. Siku moja, mpobo, ata tu elfi mbili pega yake ana. Si hati ana, halifika mali ya kachoka. Halifika mali ya kachoka. Unapata mtu anaanza intercessor raka tali baka laba zata paka anaomba ki temena magoti hapa my father, my father. Baada ya two months, how many? These are things I've seen. I've been in ministry for 23 years. How many? Na kuna wengine ambao kitoa tu interest kidogo. Kafea. Toa yoka fea. Toa yoka, eh, unailewa? Unasikia tu simu. Uh, Bishop Leo Sisi Pipo. Unasikia kuchoka. Ebu <laughs> tusome hapa. Si tusome, sindio? Tuendele. I am not able, we soma, we. I am not able to bear all these people alone because it is too heavy for me. Okay, the question, wala amba walikuwa well able, walikuwa out of truth. Where, where are they? Wali choka. Okay, tuendele tena. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand. If I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my, my, my wretchedness. And Moses and Akwa Paka suicidal. This is too much. Lord, kill me. So many pastors, they are suicidal. They are very suicidal. Ah, very suicidal. Mpagata my pastor, you know, see hapa, mata siku kwangu. Some of them even are important. Because stress way in a bigger spinal cord. How do you perform sexually with, the, with, 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 with an injury on the spinal cord? Pastors are really important outside there because they are carrying too, too much. Yet they have got people. But they did not journey with them to a level whereby they can now impart the grace they carry to the people. And most are afraid when they impart when I go to when I go to break church. I go to break Mutu wa break ile ni bahari. Una break, unachukua 30, naenda na crusade, na kwa crusade. Na kusanya water uliochukua pamoja, naenda na kurudisha tena. I bring you back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's now suicidal. Bad advice mzuri from the father-in-law. A man that never had the Holy Spirit, but he had very good counsel. But in other words, ministry is something spiritual. Don't, okay, receive ideas from professors, which is good. I know professors are here. Doctors are here. Please, we respect you, you honor you, we love you so much. Bring those ideas, we need them. But final decision should come from the Holy Spirit. Mm. Those kind of advices, they are good. Your But spirituality, please. We know more about spiritual things. 
Nipatie juu tena. Tuendelee. Tusome. One, two, let's go. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest. Tuanzi hapo. For someone to know you. Lazima kuwa mekana we miaka. Eh? Whom thou knowest. Pale manzoni haku kuwa na hiyo advice. Ambayo jeto na lipayana. Ya liambio tafuta tumutu mwenye bora kona faith. Eh? Bora kwa well able. Wekea mikono rakaraka wetu atisonge mbele. Ah, sio hivyo. You must find men that you know. Men that you have journeyed with. Men that wajwanga wakikasirika asirari na figanga hapa. Mimi ni kona kijana na mujua because nimeka na karibu four years. Aki kasirika wani na chocha zaidi ya kasirika bisa kifika mwisho. Wewe anafanya anatulia. Asa aki kasirika bisa na mpatia kazi mingi. Pangu sa ile fanya hivi, fanya hivi. Yani nataka a mentor him. Inifikishe mwisho ya asira. Bas. Mena atakuwa better. Of course. Yeah. So, <laughs> kuna mtu minangalia kafanya. Hii nawe ni kali. Ah, ni pole pole tu. Alright. Tuendele. Whom thou knowest to be with the elders of the people and officers over them and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation that they may stand there with thee. Tuendele. And I will come down and talk with thee there and I will take off the spirit which is upon thee and will put it upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee. You see, they will bear the burden of the people with thee. They will not help you carry the burden but you shall have an equal share of that burden. Equal share of that burden. Whereby when the bishop is saying when he's concerned of the rent, three, four people, they're also concerned of the rent. Anashukia tu renti isha lipo. Awa mefika levo. Ya kutembea kuyo mafuta. Lakini so spectators. Sasa. Mutumishi. Situ nezenda kawangwari. Tafute holu kwa ziko chip. Please. Man of God you are called for Westlands. Tafadhali ulitua Westlands. Let us also use logic. You know. The same same God in kawangwari. Is the same God here. Please tafadhali. Fika yo level ya kuona Westlands when you're on Westlands. <laughs> wale watu wa Westlands, wale watu wa Kaongare, Kangemi, Mukuru kwa Njenga, Onkatronga ikware, mutuache sisi, mutu, mutu. leave us alone. Nyinyi ni watu ya hapa. Equal share. Uh, listen, there's a time Jesus could tell the three disciples whom he loved, John, Peter, and James. He could tell them, I want to go to the mountain and pray. Automatically they knew. They are part of I. They could follow him. So when the one of God is saying, I want to buy this. Ukifika your level. Unajuanga, you are part of it. So kwanza kumuliza. And uh, man of God, have you thought twice about it? Have you prayed about it? Qualification up I to very simple. Men that you know. When you when you talk about men, it's also women. Men that you of course he knows the people here very well. Me, I don't know you. I only see you, but I don't know you. Me, I'm your spiritual uncle. <laughs> of course, I'm not your father. Me mean spiritual uncle. And uncles don't have inheritance. I don't have inheritance. I've never seen an uncle and bekidan and takupimi a shamba. Never. I don't want to be Mimi niko na watoto wangu huko. Ambao nitawapimia shamba. Actually when I was driving with the pastor Bill I was telling him sasa umefika wewe sasa kwa mafika. Na nikamwambia thank God you have journeyed with me because kama ungekutoka vijana wale wengine walitoka. Ungekuwa sasa hivi unahangaika na watu 235 kule Bukuru kwa Njenga kule. Is a man who should start with 100 members and above. When you become patient with your father, you stay long enough with him. Okay. Inheritance, see to kupewa church at kwenda ku preach. This man can give you an inheritance of a multi-million business. Of course, yes. You can do so well at the marketplace. Si kwa sabu kwa na ujuzi ya wuko, ah, kuna grace in ongea nyuma yako. Unajua marketplace kuna vitu mingi huko kuna wachawi waganga devil worshipers illuminati freemason wako 
kupiga ramli wako kutumia vikata vipanga vya nyamukera wako fly kwa anga kutembea chini kutumia sujudu dimanyoa those things they are there so if you are there without the grace spiritual support system gete kuramba yeah my brother we ni ukweli kita kuramba so angalia zile qualification ambazo jetu alipeana very good very good qualifications men of faith people that love god hapa ni very simple men and women that you know and then the spirit in you will be transferred to them na uta struggle tena moses hautakuwa suicide tena hasa leo ni hiyo siku whereby he wants to impart the grace in him the spirit in him to you now i want to give you three things that will happen and then to ombe when you receive this impartation number one, number one, your faith will be tested your faith will be tested because the anointing attracts warfare and the place the warfare will come from it is from your family where ume, where at umeanza nini sisi tunakwanga wa ICK tunakwanga Catholic Sijaiona father amewekelea moto mafuta ulekelea mafuta ya nini hii makanisa ya squeeze those are kind of warfare that you expect e, itakuja sasa nafikiri umejipanga kisaikolojia kiroho jinsi utajibu because in, vile utawajibu inategemea kama utawa win waje church because hii anointing itakusababisha wewe pia uko influential wa win the anointing brings influence automatically yes utakuwa very influential utakuwa unaongea kitu ya ujinga utaona cheka sasa vitu nilimongea hapa za ujinga na mna cheka mna cheka yes evil so your faith will be tested and then number two, your loyalty will be tested your loyalty to the church and to this man will be tested hapo ndo unapata sasa invitations Cameroon eh yeah, unapata invitation pa kwenda Kinshasa DRC Congo Kuala Lumpur Malaysia papa when you laid hands on me oh my god doors are opening mm, doors are opening nimeanza kuona followers ah kumbuka ni ile mafuta uliyekelewa au kuwekelewa sasa uanze kumprovia point You know sometimes listen when the anointing comes on you sometimes God can use you a little bit different from him maybe you can be, you can become very influential in the marketplace even your social media platform can have so many people mhm sasa usianze kuona uko so influential paka hata chief wa kunya na kuambia tafadhali kuna mkutano usipofika saa tano hii mkutano ile demand then you call him hi bishop that anointing is working i'm telling you Swaking. It's working. What the fuck God is doing? I'm just shocked. I'm amazed. And I go be thank you my son, thank you my daughter. Now bishop. For the coming two weeks just allow me I'll not be available. This is too much. <laughs> Your loyalty will be tested. <laughs> your loyalty will be tested hmm? someone came to me kanambia i want to sit under you can be okay mm-hmm. what else i want you to become my spiritual father mm-hmm. what else i want the grace that you carry hapo sikuza what else ilinyamaza kwanza you only big hesabu ya shekhambi nyiri wale nikamwangalia nikao na huyu ile gharama nimelipa atalipa kweli mambo ya anointing tupachana hayo nikamwambia will you follow what i tell you akasema yes kila sana ile kwanga niko na show KTN niko na show citizen anavaa kama masai nilimwambia stop that rubbish and stay in the church you call it rubbish i said yes she want to sit under me stop that rubbish stay in the church by some bili na nusu anaingia anga tu pole 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 na ameka loyalty will be tested that is a, a point whereby he has to tell you please i want to see you in the church for the coming six months without fail na sasa yuko na meetings uko na hapa na pale ni wewe uje excuse kwa hizo meetings uko 
your loyalty will be tested. The mantles come because of loyalty. Loyalty. And then finally, also your resources will be tested. Because kama mwenye mkona hiko share spirituality, si mna lipa rent pamoja. Si mna lipa pamoja. Si ni ukweli. You will go next time. I. But listen. After this anointing, you will have the equal share of the burden, but not the equal share of the name and the status. Get me right. You will remain a faithful servant to the bishop. The Bible says, and Joshua a servant of Moses, not assistant pastor. In a member of the Dini, while later church, Kumasaji Watu, was it okay church? Assistant pastor. Mimi ndiyo assistant. Hakunanga assistant pastor. You are a servant of the man of God. That is the scripture. Imagine. Fikiri ya kutio kitu. Fikiri ya kutio. Unaheza na ikitu kweli wewe. Utaweza kweli. Ama to the room after leo. Jipige msasa. Kama unaweza ama utaweza. Meaning now you have to serve this man. Sasa now you need to serve. Ufike mapema. Isikuwe pia unatoka nyumba kama vya antoka nyumba. Ya kitoka saine, wa antoka satana. Hapa kuna loyalty. Hapa yuko rebellion inayanza. Yoli rebellion. And one of the dangers that can bring disconnection between you, you and him is when he senses kuna rebellion. Isikuwe sasa pia unashika simu sasa vila anaongelesha members in the church pia unashika simu hello who are you mm, you are talking to pastor reverend onesmus uh, i want to see you in the office i want to see him at my at, at, at my place please in the next one hour please you have to be there faithful members with all authority that i have today I give you this permission. Only obey what your bishop has said. Not unless he has delegated. Akisema, please, this man of God will do A, B, C, and D, then do that. Divisions come in the church when members are confused. How do you afford any? We are the same. We are the same. We are the same. We are I want to take you for seven days of prayer and fasting. And by the time we are done, my God of Elijah, my father, you will tell me if you are Elijah or am I Elijah. I will deal with you, I tell you. He is not aware. Unafastisha watu. Mama anahuja kwa unka unka pa kume siya no inti ninja ako nayo. No, no, mambia, the Lord has said, don't mention to anybody. Please, usijingiza kwa waga kama iyo. Ask your, you have got a right to ask your father. Nimeambiwa ni first. Is it biblical? Is it right? You are my spiritual father. You are my seer. You are my prophet. Please tell me. Am I doing the right thing? Nandi atajua by the way hapa sasa. Kona kono kono. Mburu kenge. Alishabab. Imeingia. We cannot have seven fathers. It is one father. Anangoja tithe, utoi tithe. Kumbe, kumbe ume, ume supi uko inje katika tia wiko umetuma tithe. Na umambio, shh, keep quiet. Please, cult in operating kwa, 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 kwa kugopesha watu. Tumeanda na scripture gani? You have not received the spirit of fear. Unambio, for the coming six months, send tithe to me. Did you see that oil coming upon me? Yeah. Send tithe. Please, I want to make this categorically clear. There's only one person that receives tithe from all the congregation. That is the man. Even in our church there, he's my very close person. I've done with him for more than eight, ten years. I've done mentorship. He's doing very well. He sends tithe. And he's a pastor. He sends Kwanza asipotuma na piyanga sim. Where, where? Umeamua aje imuizi? He sends tithe. He has brought so many people in the church. He doesn't take their tithe. They tithe to the church. God can use to bring people in the church, 
you as a pastor, as an intercessor, as an evangelist, you have got no moral authority or spiritual authority to take their tithes. The tithes are given to the altar in this place. And I know he has never allowed anyone to take a tithe. So tafadhali kama umai toa tithe kwa anybody ambayo siye ulikoniwa, ulibili. Kubali tuishi. Kubali ifanya nini? Ishe. It is only him who needs to send and he should communicate. I'm sending pastor so and so because I'm busy. He's coming to your house to pray for you. And if possible, tia simu kukuta record. What the prayers that are going on there, record. Just for security purposes. Because sometimes we don't know. Mutu anzana pala anapiga maumbizi gine za kushangaza. Ndotujue. Let's go.